So my name is Christian Valentin from the IRD and I'm a soil scientist and agronomist and my participation in the Ecospex project deals with soil surface features. What does it mean? It means all the surface conditions that can influence infiltration and runoff partition, but also soil erosion. What is really striking here is the, the way the farmers manage their land, very steepy, very sloping land. Uh, the, the average slope is about 50, between 50 and 70 percent, which usually is not cultivated. It's too dangerous in terms of soil erosion. But here there is a very interesting management of soil cover and also of micro relief. In terms of soil cover, what is important to know is that much more important than the percentage of soil cover, what is important is the distance to the ground because this dictates kinetic energy of rainfall. So the most important to protect soil from soil erosion is to cover the ground. And here you can see that there are many leaves on the soil surface. And these leaves protect the, the soils very efficiently. What, what's important also to note here is that there are several layers of soil cover. One is made of a, a tree, and as you can see, it's a rather little tree, not very high. In other words, kinetic energy falling from their leaves is still pretty low, so without any incidence of um, soil erosion. And it's the same also for the second layer, which is the, the coffee. As you can see, coffee is not very high, and the last intercepting leaves are, are not very high, approximately 30 centimeters, which is rather the equivalent than for weeds. So this protects also, this doesn't induce soil erosion, as compared as we, we can see on steep slope as well in Laos, where there is um, ticks which have been planted and they are very, very high without many leaves at the soil surface. So there is no protection of the soil surface and there is heavy erosion there. So it's nothing in common with what we can be see here because the, this coffee is very small and because there, there is a, a litter covering a, a large part of the soil and we have to keep in mind that with approximately 40% of soil surface you reduce soil erosion. So the, the other striking features here is how the, the farmers manage to cut the slope because you have to keep in mind also is once one of have generated, it can concentrate and form gully because of the velocity of the flow. But here, despite the fact that there is a very steep slope, this, this slope has been cut progressively, making, putting branches on the contour and cultivating on the contour, and these branches trap all the leaves. And slowly, they are making pseudo terraces, so that the, the wool profile of the of the hill slope has been transformed into step-like profile, with very shallow, very small slope and very steep slope. And the very steep slope usually erosion extremely vertical. I would say slope erosion is pretty small usually because here we have a soil which is very resistant. So at the vertical it can, can stand for a long time without being eroded. And a large part of the soil is sub-horizontal, not totally horizontal, but horizontal enough to prevent soil erosion and to trap uh, possible sediments uh, with the, the litter. So gradually the, the profile is changing. 
what has to be noted here is that when the, these branches, these micro dams, we could say, uh, uh, to, to trap the sediments, when they are not very well managed, when they are not sufficiently uh, uh, sustained, they, they favor uh, soil erosion. You can have some departures of some wheels and gullies, as can be seen over there, for instance. And in that, in that circumstances, when the, these uh, microdimes are not sufficiently maintained, you, you can have uh, pretty severe erosion, I can expect here.